to reapply your sunscreen over your makeup, plus more body sunscreens that will give you a gorgeous glow. Lego. Nah. You know, gather around. Come, you know, come in. Come, come. Listen up, y'all. Reapply your sunscreen over your makeup. Because I, I, I did a post on Instagram. We lost a few brothers and sisters in the struggle with the comprehension. Reapply. So what you're going to do is in the morning, you're going to do your regular skincare routine. You're going to apply your sunscreen. Enough of your base sunscreen. Give it about 10 to 15 minutes. You know, go on ahead, go do your hair, go grab some breakfast, watch a YouTube video, preferably one of my YouTube videos. Put your makeup on, go on about your day. But during the day, as you want to reapply your sunscreen over your makeup, here are some options. So one option to reapply your sunscreen over your makeup is to just take whatever base sunscreen you had and reapply it over your makeup with a makeup sponge. This works for some people. It, it is not my favorite because <laughs> it mutes my makeup in a way that I would have to actually like bring my makeup with me if I'm out and about and I would have to like reapply my makeup. That's not part of my lifestyle. I like to just go. I don't want to have to carry a bunch of stuff with me, but this does work for some people. And I would say that if you wanted to try something like this to look for lighter weight formulas, I'm not gonna say a lotion is not going to work. It can, maybe, you know, your makeup style might be a little bit different than mine. Maybe you don't wear as much makeup as me and a lotion might work for you. But on average, the more silicone-y, some of those like clear sunscreens are probably going to be your best bet to apply over your makeup. So I'm talking about things like the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. Um, and then it's dupe the Kroger invisible gel. There's a video on that. Make sure you check that out Also, there is a Shiseido clear stick. I did a review on that on the channel The Shiseido one does say in the packaging and their marketing that you can use it to Reapply your sunscreen over your makeup. Now, I ain't trying to call him a liar It just wasn't conducive to my lifestyle, you know not approved by me. Just not my thing Maybe it may work for you if you use something like that to reapply your sunscreen over your makeup, you know, let me know in the comments. Peter Thomas Roth just recently came out with a clear sunscreen that has a matte finish to it. I've reviewed that in a previous video. That might be another option for you as well. Things like the Super Goop Glow Stick has a glowy finish to it. Maybe that's your thing. Maybe you started out with a matte look during the day and you're like, you know what? When I reapply my sunscreen, I want my look to be a little bit more on the glowy side then that might work for you. You may need to reapply your makeup to, like you might have to do a whole production, which is why it's not my favorite, but it could be your favorite. And if it is, <laughs> let me know in the comments. Another option to reapply your sunscreen over your makeup is with a mineral sunscreen powder. Now, unfortunately, there aren't a lot of good options in this area. I have tried a lot of them. I would have to say that the Supergoop Resetting Powder SPF 35 is probably one of the best ones out there. Now, make sure you get the ones that are colored. <laughs> I use this in deep. There's a translucent one and I haven't tried it, but someone in my comments on an Instagram video was like, yeah, that mess was Ash City. So the deep one, you can see a little powder in there. The deep one is probably going to, you know, be the best bet for a majority of us with deeper skin. This is a pretty penny. The reason that I have seen, because I've tried a lot of these like brush thingies, and the cheaper ones, you felt it. <laughs> you felt it in the quality of the breast bristles. It was like, ouch, 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 what is happening to my face? The way that the product dispensed and the cheaper versions were just like whack. And a lot of times with the cheaper versions, like I tried one from Derma E, I tried one from, I wanna say it was Sunbum, but I tried it here on the channel so you can kinda like, you know, go back and archive. But a lot of times some of the cheaper ones, the powder just looks terrible on deeper skin. So this is a case where you kinda get what you pay for. Peter Thomas Roth used to have one that I loved for years. That mess has been MIA. I don't know if it's coming back in stock. I don't know if it's discontinued. I don't know if it's being reformulated. I, I don't know. So for the longest time, I knew Color Science had these mineral powder brushes, but I never really like, I wasn't in a rush to try it out for you guys because this is even more than the Super Goop, but I was like, you know what, Danielle? You gotta have some well-rounded options for the people, them. So I picked it up. I picked up the 
Sun Forgettable Total Protection Brush on Shield SPF 50. This has a PA of four pluses in the shade Deep. And then they also had a Sheer Matte 30 Sunscreen Brush that's in this translucent white color. Um, you know what? Let me, let me, let me, may I, may I, do y'all mind? Color Science, I want to speak to you directly. What do you mean by deep? Because I've tried a lot of your products. You had something that was called bronze. And I mean, you know what? Maybe you thought that was bronze, but it was not bronze for me. Then you had a tinted mineral sunscreen that you called deep. And it wasn't deep. And then this powder, it says deep. But when I tell you this thing looks so ashy on my skin. And there are people with richer, chocolatier complexions than me. What they gonna do with this product? Huh? What they gonna do with this product? I was physically angry. <laughs> <laughs> this first of all the packaging sucks right so it's like yes it's cool that they've got like the little twist down thing it makes it easy to protect the brush you know yada yada right now the thing is though you are gonna be boom 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 booming for days to get the powder to come out the breast bristles are actually very soft so that's that's one plus that I will give it however once that product comes out and it ashifies your makeup in your face, like what's the point? And I don't even have to tell you how bad <laughs> this trans translucent powder looked on my skin. So, all right, y'all. So I'm over here trying to find where I can make it look on camera the way it looks off in person because I realized that on camera, you're probably looking at it like, okay, you're being really dramatic, it looks fine, but in person, it is off. Hopefully, it is coming off as off here in this lighting, but obviously, if your undertones are a little bit different than mine, and if you're lighter than me, the deep will work much better for you, but it looks like I put on powder that's too light and off an undertone for me. This is the side with the deep, and then this is the side with the translucent. I think you can tell because my blush looks off here, and it didn't look like that before I put the powder on. And that's not, for me personally, that's not something I would want a mineral sunscreen powder to do to my makeup. I'm not being overly dramatic, it's just that, you know, on camera it might look a little different to you. And of course, it could just be me. <laughs> so if you've tried the Color Science Mineral Sunscreen Powder, and it worked for you, please let us know in the comments. So yeah, this is the only real like viable option that we have in the mineral sunscreen powder brush that you can transport pretty easily option that we have out there. I'll link it in the description box. Some people ask like, ew, that's so dirty because like you can't even wash that brush. Yeah, you can wash the brush. What you do is you get your little brush shampoo or you can even use one of those like dry shampoo uh, brush sprays kind of thing. Like you can kind of spray that in between before you like you wash it, wash it. I'll link a couple of products in the description box so you know you can get the tea and you know get them. But you can just take some brush shampoo. Now obviously you don't want to like wash it submerged like this because then the product's gonna dispense, you're gonna waste the product, the product's gonna mix in with the water, it's gonna be a mess. I would very gently just give it a good kind of like, you know, and then let it dry standing up but you can wash the brush. I prefer something like that because it's easy to carry around, no, well, virtually no mess, and you know, it can get a little messy, but some people do ask if there are mineral sunscreen options that come in loose powders, and I tried one in a previous video. I'll link it in the description box, but then when I tell you when I was looking for loose mineral sunscreen powders, there, again, there weren't that many options, and some of them looked a little, little off of the deeper skin, but I'll put what I can find in the description box. Another option for reapplying your sunscreen over your makeup is a SPF makeup mist. Now you want to make sure, my dear friends out there, <laughs> that the product that you are picking up can be sprayed over makeup because not all sunscreen facial mists are meant to be sprayed over your makeup. Some of them have, the, the way that they spray, the particles are a lot bigger <laughs> 
<laughs> and, and theoretically, you could put that over your makeup. I think you're gonna be mad, but when the big droplets hit your face and, and leaves like the, like the marks on your face, because typically those are meant to be sprayed in your hand and then applied to your face. They're not meant to be like sprayed directly to your face. If you find a way to, to, to use a, a regular SPF facial mist and it works for you to reapply it over your makeup, let us know in the comments. But typically, something like this, this is the Super Goop Resetting Refresh Spray, which they recently reformulated. I like the old one, I like this new one. To me, I don't really see that huge of a difference with the reformulation, but if you did, let me know in the comments. Something like this, the way it sprays, it's, it's finer, it's more meant to be, you know, for reapplying over makeup. Now, you also don't have to have makeup on to use this to reapply. You can, of course, have a bare face and use something like this to reapply if you just like the cooling feeling. Kula also has a SPF makeup mist that you can put on over your makeup. I will link that in the description box. I just don't have it here. What are your favorite ways to reapply your sunscreen over your makeup? Let me know in the comments and let's move on to some body oily sunscreens that'll give you a glow and Honey, I found some beautiful ones. And, and one, you'll see. When it comes to sunscreen body oils, you have a number of options. Now, I love a sunscreen body oil, obviously when, you know, showing a little bit more skin. I feel, right, because I, I, there still may be some of you out there that haven't fully converted to sunscreen. I don't know, but there are some people that haven't fully been converted, and I feel like I can get people to put sunscreen on their body more when it looks good, right? So that's why I kind of threw this in here. Um, however, you wanna make sure that you apply enough. <laughs> get all greased up. Got a shot glass full of sunscreen that you need for your body. Now, some of us have more body already, so it's gonna be more than that, but you wanna make sure that you are getting in there with the sunscreen, get all greased up, and of course, reapply every two hours, especially if you're gonna be, you know, out there having fun, cause it's about to be summer, y'all. Anyway, a lot of these I've talked about in videos already, like for instance, this Hawaiian Tropic one I just recently talked about it's in my affordable body skincare video, so check that out. But also we have, and you know, this comes in a bigger bottle, but I got this cute little itty bitty one to travel with when I recently went to Jamaica. Supergoop has a glow oil that looks really amazing on the skin. and gives it a nice glow. However, if you're not looking to spend the Supergoop coins, because even this little itty bitty one costs a little itty bitty penny, you know, and the bigger one is, you know, costs obviously more. If you ain't trying to spend the Supergoop coins, Kroger comes through yet again. We've been talking about this Kroger sunscreen oil dupe for the, it even says that it's, you know, compare it to the, the glow oil from Supergoop on the packaging. We've been talking about this for at least the last two or three years here on this channel. Now the Kroger products that are dupes for the Supergoop, this one and the invisible gel, sometimes they're not as easy to buy online. I will leave links below, just, but just so you know, so it, sometimes you might not be able to get the invisible gel shipped to you. Now my friend Gabby recently ordered this, you know, she lives here in New York with me, she recently ordered this and got it in the mail, no problem. So you probably, you know, have a good chance of getting it. Now this one from Kapari, oh my God. I don't even know how I found this. I just, I guess maybe I typed in like, I don't know. A lot of times when I'm doing product research for these videos, like I just type in all kinds of stuff on Amazon or whatever and see what comes up, order it and then get it here. This is like a hybrid between a sunscreen and body oil and like the shimmery ones. And we'll talk about some shimmery options in a few. This looks so beautiful on the body. On me, it kind of like gave me, like it, it bronzed my skin a little bit. Like I could tell like, oh my gosh, my skin looks a little bit deeper and bronzier in color. And then you have the, the sheen of the oil and then you're getting the beautiful particles of the gold shimmer. And to me, at least, it smells amazing. You know, you might not think it smells amazing. You know, smell is subjective, but this is beautiful. It is a little on the, on the up and up side <laughs> on the price, but um, I'm, I'm not mad that I bought it. So I'll leave this linked in the description box if you're interested. And of course you have the Super Goop Glow Stick. Now this does come in a bigger size as well. Again, I bought this little mini for my trip to Jamaica. I wouldn't advise this to be like your sole glow for your body because it can take forever to kind of like <laughs> rub this thing on you and, 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 and massage it into your skin. You might as well just get a, a big bottle of sunscreen body oil. But you know, sometimes you might wanna just keep some glisten on your chest area, you know? 
I'll leave a link below in case you're interested. Now for the body shimmer. I'm loving that there are a lot more options in like the sunscreen body oil and the shimmer areas because we already know if you if you're someone who loved these kind of looks on your skin before there were there was no shortage of products that I mean shoot you could just slap some baby oil on your skin if you wanted to really glisten and there were so many of those like shimmery bronzy body makeup -y kind of products but I'm so glad that there are sunscreen products that because it's like you just get it all <laughs> in one here and let's go over a couple of options. The Coppertone Glow Shimmer Sunscreens. I talked about this already in my most recent affordable body skincare product video. There's a lotion that's an SPF 50, and then there's a spray that's an SPF 30. This has the most beautiful, subtle, but glam golden shimmer in it. I would say that, you know, maybe lean more towards the lotion because, you know, with the lotion, you just make sure you get enough in, slather that in. If you're gonna do the spray, the thing with sunscreen sprays is you definitely want to make sure that you are like getting in spraying and that you want to go in with your hand and massage it in or you could spray it in your hand and massage it into your skin because the thing with sprays if you are trying to make sure that you get the correct amount of sunscreen it, it, it can be a little hard because you're spraying and then if the wind blows then some of the spray is going over here some of it's over there maybe a little bit is on your skin you know a little po poquitos on your skin or something <laughs> so with the sunscreen sprays spray it in your hand apply it to your body you know be real liberal with it or you can spray it to your body very liberally and then make sure that you massage it in with your hands the massaging it in with your hands part is extremely important because you might skip some areas in your skin and you know you don't want to if you're gonna put the sunscreen on put the sunscreen on <laughs> now this one <laughs> unicorn snot i was like oh my god am i really buying something called unicorn snot and yeah i really bought something called unicorn snot so this is really pretty it's a lotion that has like this pinky pearlescent kind of like vibe to it now normally i would prefer something like golden or bronze with my deeper complexion because sometimes some of these like pink pearly kind of things can look a little ashy on us but this didn't look ashy on me and now that's not to say that it won't look ashy on you because you know maybe your undertones might not you know your undertones and the color may, you may not like go together this is still a really pretty glam sunscreen option for the body so with the exception of the mineral powder sunscreens everything else in this video was a chemical sunscreen so I was like you know what let me get a mineral option now mineral body sunscreen options <laughs> It's hard. There's a video that I did last year where there were like some like hacks that you can do and some that don't look as bad. And also if you look through some of my uh, best of, like there was a 2020 best of, there was a 2021 best of. I mean, obviously it ain't a 2022 best of yet cause you know, we ain't even halfway through 2022 yet. However, there are some mineral sunscreens that are sold as like facial products because you know, they come in a package maybe about like this that do look good on the body, but it's just like, it might be a little expensive, but if money is no matter to you, then go ahead, I'll leave it linked above so you can check out that video. So I picked up this Bare Republic Mineral Golden Days sunscreen. I was like, okay, a mineral sunscreen, got the little shimmer in it. You know, it's also got the iron oxides and I'm like, okay, cause you know, iron oxides help to protect you from invisible light. There's a video on that if you want to check it out. So I'm like, okay, the girlies who love the mineral body sunscreens, you know, they might like this. And then I put it on and lot of mercy, Jesus Christ. Oh my God, this thing look bad, bad, bad. First of all, how you gonna give me an ashy cast and some shimmer? <laughs> like, it was so disrespectful. How much of a white cast and how much glitter is in this sunscreen? Like, it straight up had me looking like the Tin Man from The Wiz. I feel like they could've went a little harder with the tint, maybe put a little more tint, maybe put a little more iron oxides or something up in there. But, ooh, chow. I, I can't even, I can't even tell you if it's gonna look good if you have lighter skin because the, the shimmer is so aggressive that like, I don't know, if you have lighter skin and you've tried this, let us know the tea in the, in the comments, but. Not approved by me, not my thing. 
just, just know. <laughs> if you are looking for more sunscreens, be they mineral or sunscreens that are, you know, you want SPF 50 plus, water resistant up to 80 minutes, you know, that kind of thing for the beach. Because honestly, there is an occasion for sunscreen. Like I wear a certain sunscreen when I got my makeup on. I wear a certain sunscreen when I'm going to be out on a beach. I wear a certain sunscreen if I decide to go white water rafting and climb the mountains. I will leave that playlist here for your viewing pleasure. Also, follow me on social. And I have a lifestyle channel, so if you want to get to know more about me, check it out, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.